Okay, so this question says, Chris determines the roots of a quadratic equation are negative 5 and 2. So the equation that Chris was trying to solve or determine the roots for would be, well, what? Okay, well, let's take a look at this. So if the roots are negative 5 and 2, what we might say here is x is equal to negative 5, x is equal to 2. Now, the way we do this normally is we solve the equations to get the roots in this form. So all we're asking you to do is go backwards. In fact, teachers love it when there's questions like this that force students to kind of think backwards here. So if I've got x is equal to 5, if I take that backwards to find the binomial factor that, that is part of the equation that he solved, I'd bring that over and I get x plus 5 equals 0. Here, if I bring that 2 over, I would get x minus 2 is equal to 0. So these are setting up those, those factors of the, the larger quadratic. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply those together x plus 5, x minus 2 is equal to 0, and I'm going to expand that out. I will get x squared plus 3x minus 10 is equal to 0. Now, I have skipped a bit of a step there. I'm running out a little bit of room there. But um, I put the 5x and the negative 2x together to get that x, uh, that 3x in the middle here. So now I'm looking around. Now, I don't see, I don't see that, that quadratic anywhere here. So what that probably tells me is that, I think I'm pretty sure that I did this right here, but what i got to do is look for a situation here where it's been multiplied through by something. So now look at the first one here. Look at A. If I multiply what I have here through by 2, because I see that that x squared became 2x squared, does it all work? And the answer is no, because the second term should have been negative, uh, in, in mine would have been positive 6 if you multiply the whole thing through by 2. What if I take... And, and do it like in B, where the leading coefficient is 4. If I multiply my whole thing through here by 4, does that work? I'm going to get 4x squared plus 12x minus 40. There it is. That's the answer. So this is a really good question for in, in two ways here. First of all, getting you to think backwards here. But then also having this extra little layer to it where you don't immediately find the answer when you do that. You've got to look at what that leading coefficient is and what's been multiplied through. It's a really good question.